welcome to our new little home here in the mountains of Slovakia. We are so over the moon with this little place and can't wait to show you around. But there are a couple of catches though. First, there is no running water up here and we could be on bears and wolves territory. But let's not focus on the negatives just for now. Welcome to our new home for the next month, high up in the Tatry mountains of Slovakia. After driving east through Europe and up into the mountains, we parked our car down in the valley and started the hike up this steep track towards what would be our home for the next four weeks. The idea behind this experience was to do something completely different live life in a way completely unknown to us, challenge ourselves, learn new skills, live each day at slower pace and recharge. We wanted to see if this experience would change our perspective and the way we look at life. The first few days in the cabin certainly took some getting used to. Our home is completely isolated, up on the mountainside, and although there is electricity and appliances like a fridge, kettle and a hope, there is no running water. The water actually needs to be collected from a spring down in the valley, and this is how we did it. How does it feel being on your back? It actually feels okay. You know? It doesn't feel too heavy? No, yeah, it actually feels really... That first bit standing up I was thinking, oh my god! <laughs> but no, it's actually really nice. Really nice? Really Even nice. that? Oh my god! It's good! Piece of cake, isn't it? <sighs> we collected about 38 litres of water and we'd love to say that this will do us for about a week, but no, this will last us probably for a couple of days and then we'll need to do the whole procedure again. On the first day we arrived, we brought some supplies up with us, but after a couple of days, we started running low. The closest supermarket was actually in the town 30 minutes drive away. So we went out to stock up and bought supplies, enough to last us for the next couple of weeks. Over this month we wanted to concentrate on getting back to cooking all our meals from scratch, which is something we've really missed over the last couple of years. 
we've made a separate video in which we will share everything we cooked with you. With no real need to head back down the mountain, we spend the next two weeks or so isolated and getting used to the life in the cabin. We developed a little routine where we would get up in the morning, open the blinds, brush our teeth and wash our face, head down to the spring to get our water if we were running low, collect logs for the fire, then we would make breakfast. Pancakes became a Sunday tradition. Afterwards, we would wash ourselves, which, as you can imagine, in a cabin, not just without warm water, but without any water, was a little unorthodox. Around once a week, we would wash our clothes, mainly when there was a gap in the weather. And when the evening came, we would often spend them together, keeping ourselves entertained by playing made-up games of darts, cooking, reading books, watching films, and watching the sunset over the mountains. The evenings up here especially are absolutely incredible. It's the end of May at the moment, so the days are still growing. And even in this sort of 10 days that we've been here already, we've really noticed how much later it's getting dark. And today in particular is just absolutely stunning. It's quarter to nine now and uh, yeah, just take a look at this. As beautiful as it is when the sun goes down here, the only flip side to that is as soon as it gets dark, the walk up to the bathroom up there becomes incredibly sketchy. I went for a walk up there last night uh, about 11.30 and yeah, <laughs> to say, say it was nerve wracking is to say absolutely nothing. I heard a sound near the toilet itself and it absolutely scared the living daylights out of me. I don't think I've run back down this hill so fast ever. <laughs> Clear evenings like this were unfortunately few and far between, as late spring in Europe is always a little changeable. But when we got the breaks in the weather, we always made sure to make the most of it. So we've spent a few days getting used to life here in the cabin and now we know roughly where everything is and what we're doing let's give you a bit of a tour let's start outside and this is our alfresco kitchen area there's just a massive worktop and a few pots and pans and 
yeah we're going to try and cook out here on quite a few occasions when the weather holds up obviously not today and uh, yeah let's take you inside so this is the kitchen area and there's quite a lot of worktop space there's loads of space to cook we've got a electric hob here two burner hob and we've been using that most of the time and uh, that's all there pretty much is to say about the kitchen there's loads of spices. pots spices sauces that were left here from other guests and from the people that own the place which is absolutely amazing we've got a kettle a little microwave oven that we haven't touched and then a big fridge freezer and then round here we have an old village stove as well um we would be lying if we said we've even try to use it <laughs> to be honest you can basically you start the fire down here and then it heats the hob plates up a bit like what Julius showed in your auntie's place yes. right an old village Arga um, which is absolutely beautiful and adds a lot of character to the place but yeah we haven't used it but we've used that one yeah so if we move round into the lounge area we might as well start there and yeah this is a big another fire um, which we've been using quite a lot. We need to get more logs, by the way. Oh, yeah. Um, and yeah, basically, again, logs in there, some fire starters, some paper. And this then heats up this area. And honestly, it gives out so much heat. In the evenings, it gets pretty chilly here, and we've been putting this on. And uh, yeah, other than that, around here, there's a dining table where we've been sitting and working and eating, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> and then the main part of the house is this the big corner sofa which when we got here was like this but we've opened it out and it's just it's so comfortable in the evenings with these little lights on we usually turn all the lights off and keep these on and then this on and it's so cozy here with the fire going it's lovely and we've been again i'm scared <laughs> 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 yeah we've been watching things here we've been reading books here in the evenings and it's been absolutely lovely and for the downstairs that's pretty much it there's loads of games and books and everything that the owners left over there's so much cooking equipment there's honestly really really good quality pots and pans cups for a small army <laughs> and um yeah it's it's amazing should we take you upstairs do you want to do the upstairs sure always Let's show you the bit upstairs, which is here. We've only looked around the dish a couple of times, but we keep it shut and we don't go there. So there are four beds up here as well. Don't really need to come here. It's lovely and cozy. It's surprising how many people can actually stay overnight in this place. Huge. Let's show you our bedroom though. Here is our bedroom, We've got a window here, there is a little balcony as well, you can go out in the balcony but we just sit outside. And here is another bedroom. You might have noticed that there is one thing missing in this house and that's the toilet, it's outside. Let me show it to you. It's up here. Let's show it to you. It's just another wooden cabin. And actually, there are two toilets. One this side and another one over there. But we mainly use in this side, if you're wondering. So it's obviously quite a long walk from the cabin to get up to the toilet here and I'm not going to lie, in the night time there's obviously no one else around and it is pitch black. It's taken some getting used to, especially 12 o'clock at night, half 11, walking up here when it's pitch black trying to go to the toilet and if you hear a sound up in the Ooh, trees you go to the toilet really well. <laughs> it does, <laughs> it does. You up. It's taken some getting used to and uh, now this it's hammering down. It. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, Let's go. go. Let's run. 
one last thing I'll show you on the way as we're running back down is our wash facilities which we haven't used yet there's a bath here which we need to clean out and um, yeah it's one of the most beautiful views you can get from a bath but we haven't used it yet oh. So there's a bit of a break in the weather, it seems, although it's just started spitting again. But we're going to do it anyway. We're going to run downhill and try and get as much water as possible because we're near enough completely out now. Yesterday it was raining a little bit and we thought, OK, we'll wait till tomorrow. And today it's been really, really heavy. So let's go quick. <laughs> so awkward running into <laughs> Regarding the wildlife, we've only seen a couple of deers, we've seen a fox, a mole, a uh, lot of mice, grass snakes, and lots of different insects that we didn't know existed. And also we had a woody woodpecker. What, what is it called? A woodpecker. A <laughs> woodpecker. Just without the woody. Just without we the woody. We had a woodpecker. So far, no bears and wolves, but every time I leave the house, I still check still check every time just in case but to be honest with you the forest is so full everywhere around us I doubt they would go here but uh, not a bear expert <laughs> never know we're actually planning to go on quite a few walks and hikes around this area as the nature here is so beautiful and it's something we were really looking forward to doing but unfortunately the weather wasn't on our side the first week the weather was absolutely beautiful but for the rest of our time in the cabin, some days it was raining and some days it was pouring. Which was a perfect excuse for us to make it even cozy inside and perfect our fire starting skills. heading down to get some food supplies this is the second time we're going to do that the first time we did it after we just got here and we thought we were buying for a week but we actually managed to do with it for pretty much two weeks but anyway wanted to say that days actually go so quick I don't know why I thought that the days will be longer for some reason but it seems like there's even more to do really enjoy doing all of it to be honest and even like getting water when the weather is like this the weather's been bad majority of the time it's not nice to go and get water when it's raining but you appreciate everything more you appreciate the water that you drink and the shower that you have well <laughs> the shower you get out of it and yeah just everything but the days just go so quick i thought that the months could be too much and it could drag on a little bit but it's just so quick 
time just flies. Just trying to appreciate every little moment of it as much as we can. We haven't headed down for about five days now, apart from getting some water. We decided to head down to the village today so we don't develop cabin fever. And apparently there is a really lovely looking pizza place. We just might check it out. To be honest, this wasn't what we were expecting at all. The entire month flew by. Just as we were getting into the swing of remote cabin life, it was over. As our time in what became our little home came to a close, we started to reflect on how this month had actually affected us. And to be honest, we felt a little melancholy. This is our last evening here in the cabin. Where has the time gone? I honestly don't know. We were planning to prioritize work this month, as we do, catch up on everything and do as much editing as possible, edit all the footage that we have. It hadn't quite worked out like that. I think for the first time in our life, we're actually taking time for ourselves, for our heads, which was very much needed. <laughs> Let's not beat around the bush about that. I think this is the best thing that we could have done for ourselves because we had the time and the chance to take a step back to reassess many things we've come to very many realizations during this time here that were some of them were really obvious but you know sometimes something just stares you in the face but <laughs> you can't still quite get it I think we got quite a lot of things about ourselves which will help us be better in life without putting it dramatically <laughs> this time has made me reassess and again analyze and understand many things and I feel like me again I feel like I know who I am <laughs> I know who I am I've missed me this has been the best thing that we could have done for ourselves and maybe deep down yeah, I'm a little nervous, I'm clenched up. Um, maybe deep down I felt that I needed it. It wasn't just, you know, the curiosity of it all, which, okay, that was a big part of that. But I guess deep down I felt like it would do good. And it did. It has honestly been the best thing in the world for both of us. And we're incredibly excited now for the future, to share all the plans and everything that we've been keeping in our head and planning and working on this whole time. Thanks so much for coming along. We appreciate every single kind word and your support. And I often say that to you, I always say that to you, that it means the world for both of us. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And we can't wait to bring you along for future adventures, for future journeys, for everything, for the future. As we packed up, left the cabin and headed down the hill for the last time towards our car, amongst the pouring rain, two conflicting feelings came over us both. Sadness and gratitude. Sad because this month was over and over a lot quicker than we expected it to. It felt weird to be rejoining normal life, but also we felt gratitude to have had the opportunity to go through this incredible experience, learn so much not just about how to live in a mountain cabin away from society, but also about ourselves. As always, thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.